Hello everyone, Michał Cieczko here, but no more, as Venris in Total Warhammer community, and I am a lead game designer and the director of Whispers of the Isles, our first standalone game, and I will be playing game right now, and <laughs> you can see some of the footage from the actual Steam Fest demo. Uh, a big note here, we are after the tutorial right now, so I will be showing more like a in-depth gameplay, some mechanics, combat and things on. Uh, first of all, the game is about creating your own cult uh, in the name of the dead gods. You are the last prophet of the said dead gods and you are fighting against the living gods that took the claim of the city of Aranto. And yeah, this is our sanctum. As I said, this is after the tutorial part. So we are in our sanctum. We have the first followers of our cult that we can speak with. Each of them have a different quote, different day, some small animations, and also we have a lot of resources here, but we'll be getting those in time. First thing first, our big, nice sanctum, as you can see, is in total shambles, so we need to start renovating it. Uh, on top right, we have uh, the main cult resources, I would call it, the faith, needs, and notoriety, we'll get back to those, but we'll, let's check the vault. The vault is the place, the only room that we normally have open when the game begins, and we have several things. Yeah, first of all, we have a black market, so the place when you can exchange the resources for gold. And other stuff that I will get to. <laughs> if you don't know something in the game, you can always click on it and get a notification that something is required for it. We go into the workshop. Workshop is a place where we renovate our nice cult, but the first thing that we need to do is renovate the chambers for our prophet. The vault should be organized better. As the prophet just said, we need to organize it better. We just unlock a new room. As you can see, we have a chamber, so this is a nice place that you can go physically here through the doors or through the quick room panel. And uh, again, we have a prophet. Uh, with our uh, nice profit, we can add skills, abilities and things like that. But you know what, let's get to combat first and we will get back to the Sanctum later on. Uh, let's go to the tail, let's go to the dungeons and... Once more into the incommodious darkness. You'll see how it is. The tails uh, are structured uh, in a way, depending on, of course, if it's dungeon or the city, they are structured that it's like a roguelike experience when you are starting with the random buffs that you can then use as a loadout and change your stuff. Okay, uh, we have a sanity damage here, block replenishment, counter plus four, and also special power gift activation. If you don't know what are those stats are, you can always hover on them, on the right side and every have an explanation. We are going with sanity damage and of course we can equip the thing. We have several rooms that we can check first. Each room has a chance that the enemy will attack us so we need to have this in mind. Let's check the armory. Nice, we have a weapon. Let's check the treasure. Peculiar, the lack of guards. Sadly we have an enemy here. There is like a nasty guy that's scavenger so we are scavenging <laughs> let's face it and uh, how the combat works we have several stuff first of all we have health sanity and also the special uh, with our health quite logical if you die if you get drop health to zero then you are dead <laughs> but uh, we can also use our sanity and sanity is quite important because using sanity require is Sanity is used for gifts that are abilities. And we also have active actions and passive actions that we set, and then the combat goes automatically per turn. So let's start the normal turn right now. I have a standard attack and also bewitching strike that is dependable of your weapon. I have a staff in this moment. Let's start the turn. Okay, without some damage. Yeah, okay, and nice, we have an invasion. As you can see, we also not only chipped his health, but also his sanity, yeah, the thing that I was speaking about. Our build that we are going with is about lowering sanity. When we lower enemy sanity, his passive ability is not working anymore, so his trait, let's call it, and also he's getting this extra 8 damage as normal damage. So less sanity enemy have, more damage it will get. But it also works for the Prophet, so our character. 
We can also see all the stats for the enemy here, like his traits, specials, and things like that. What are the specials? <laughs> let's, let's call it. A special is uh, every attack that you do or enemy do uh, fills the special bar. And special bar, depending on your ability, does things, different things. We have a sanity replenishment, but let's use some of the sanity. One of our abilities making that we can use more actions per turn which is very cool, and the different one sanity is lowering enemy sanity. As you can see, my sanity drop, but also does the enemy. We have also passive abilities, we can increase your sanity damage for the next turn, so we will do crazy sanity damage. Let's start. Okay, his sanity just drop, as you can see we have an indicator, and we are doing 20 damage with each strike. I don't think that this guy have any chances right now. Okay, as you can see, he's also very wounded. As we use the Eye of the Gods passive, I can see what he will be using next turn. So he'll be start an attack and they will be having defensive posture. So he'll try to get back some sanity, but I don't think he will survive until then. Let's go. 18 damage, nice. And 22 damage. Okay, he's trying, he's, he's barely survived, but he is there. Uh, we will kill him, but Let's uh, replenish some of our sanity, thanks to it for the next combat, we'll already have it replenished, so we'll be able to use more of our abilities. Okay, we just replenish and won. Yes, our first so victory. And after process. every combat, combat that you win, you can pick one of two random blessings. Okay, this one is increasing special per gift activation, so abilities, and this one is critical chance, plus 20%. Let's go with the special, because we are all about using our abilities, and we found some supplies. Have I lost? Again, we have the no. enemy, non, non luck. Let's just try again. Uh, the rats, rats are quite specific enemy, because they uh, can lower your uh, protection, if they're special triggers, and also, also they bypass the protection of our character if they are on high health. But also, less health they have, less damage they deal. Interesting thing is that we don't have any protection, so they are not <laughs> any enemy for us right now. So yeah, let's just break their sanity as, as fast as possible. Yeah, and also we had a critical, as you can see, you, you can hear the sound and also the number is bigger, means it was a critical damage. Critical damage is uh, not a percentage-wise uh, damage increase, it's a percentage to trigger, yes, but the uh, critical damage is just an additional damage. Yeah? That you can increase over time. Okay, the, the rush just enabled their passive and they are dodging like crazy. Gladly only one attack. Okay, two critical strikes because they have a very high critical. Each enemy has some traits to them. Better or worse. Okay, and we just kill them. You see, we are going to have full sanity damage <laughs> build and we are doing quite well. Oh, and we have a sanity replenishment per turn uh, blessing, which would be great. Okay, we just found the staff, we already have a staff, but we can then compare it with a different affix that our weapon may have. Uh, let's try for the last one, yeah, we got lucky. And let's go to the exit, because we just found the key and we can exit. For, but exiting, we also need to fight. Okay, we got the scavenger again. Right now in the demo version, we have two enemies per tier of a den of a tail yeah because the thing that we are doing is a tail so overall there are 12 different enemies in the demo right now but we are planning way more enemies we fought this guy last time but we are not high on sanity so let's start with a meditation mm, and we won't be attacking him much so i think we should do witness that will lower our stuff we can also use gifts of the gods because we started this game uh, on the tutorial that they didn't so with the madness so i pick madness as one of the ghosts from wrath desire and madness we take madness i would say madness again we are lowering our yes. gifts costs as you can see the costs are lower and we'll be able to use those gifts more often okay he's really trying to kill us <laughs> maybe he's a cool, cool having cool loot here okay let's go with the uh, more action, sanity damage, and we are not enough of sanity, but we also have a sanity replenishment, so we don't use, need to use the, uh, our meditation here. Bewitching Strike, the thing that I'm using, by the way, 
is making that it applies mania to the enemy and mania is a status effect that lowers enemy chance yes to critical chance or f8 which is a very cool thing okay he, he's defending right now yeah so his protection just increased to six because he used the defensive posture and he replenished some of his sanity but he won't be so lucky because we are going full sanity damage against him nice Nice, his sanity just dropped, his passive won't be working anymore. And we are very low on health, as you can see the Prophet is a bit bleeding here, but he will handle, we will handle this nicely. Let's change to Witness Me, so we'll do even more sanity damage, and we can also make the fast speed of the combat, so it's faster. <laughs> okay, we should be able to survive that, nice. The arc that you see is triggering our special, and now our special triggering is sanity increase. Let's check the invention, but... Okay, so now we can go further into the dungeon, where the rewards will duplicate. Uh, double, but we are quite weak right now, so let's get back to Sanctum with all the spoils that we got, yeah? We got some relics, supplies, gold, the faith increase, because we won, and also the insight of the gods, and also the experience that we'll be using to level up the prophet right now I often long for the solitude okay we got here. back to our sanctum and there are things that we can do right now we got new letters as you can see okay it seems that the people that we met in the tutorial that you didn't tell <laughs> want to join the cult or we can increase the power of madness uh, and get more relics. I think we will go with the more relics because we'll be able to make more substantial renovation for the game and you'll see what are those. Uh, blue letters are tutorial letters that you will get in the demo that tells you what to do. Yes, <laughs> the prophet is telling a lot of things because he's a main narrator of the game. So uh, the blue letters are telling you what you should do as a tutorial, yes? Okay, uh, right now let's go back to the chambers because we were talking about the Prophet, we got some new stuff, and we also got a stuff that has the same damage, shot the block damage, but we also have an axe right now. And also have a block damage, that, that's unlucky. Okay, let's change to axe, and our character will be looking different and having different attacks. The axe is allowing you to apply bleed to the enemy that he will be putting out. <laughs> We also have an armor, a rope, that uh, changes one of our passive to a uh, different one and also have a loot increase. So we'll be getting more stuff. Let's go to the skills. As you can see, the skills are separated into three different tabs. We have a strength, cunning and wisdom. And each five point of those, you are able to permanently add the blessing, those blessings that we found in the tales. Let's go with the wisdom because we want to make a full sanity insanity build. If you don't know what blessings we'll be able to hear, you can always see here blessings. You have the full list of the things that we were finding in the previous game. Okay, let's get back to the Prophet. We also have uh, several uh, things in our gifts abilities. Based on the power of a specific god, we will be able to get more and more uh, gifts, opportunities to get different builds, abilities and so on. Uh, we have the Envy from the God of Desire that I'm not, big, not a big fan of, so I think we can replace this one with a stunning action from Madness, because we are all about Madness. The Web's Rejuvenation, so increases our uh, sanity, is very cool, but we can also change it to the thing like lowers enemy critical innovation, so when our special triggers, or we get a block. Block is like a temporary health, or we guarantee critical attack if you use this specific one. Later on in the game, you can also get the followers that have different benefits, but you need to get those, you need to play more. <laughs> we also have our renovations. What, what are the renovations in the game overall? Renovations are upgrading specific rooms with more and more mechanics. Uh, we can do that... Uh, before every combat, we'll be able to roll for a specific god's bonuses. Let's make this Arcana first renovation. We have also other renovations that can change that as a when starting a tale. For prayer and reflection. Prophet likes to talk. Uh, we have the choice of a, uh, a 
different choice of blessing when the tale begins yeah but let's get back to the vault the place that we had the resources and make the renovation here the first renovation here is quite important because allows us to attach the cultists to the room as you can see they will be starting to work right now and working cultists are happy cultists and they will be generating gold for us okay let's get back to the workshop and as you can see we have still three things to unlock here let's unlock the main altar Your sacred altar is restored yes yeah, very happy and we can now customize it for the demo version all of this is free but normally we'll be having a big uh, menu with different benefits for different uh, renovations look customizations and so on let's make it all about madness here yeah so this is all about madness Let's get back to our sanctum as you can see it's looking way better right now and also the renovation that we just did physically changed uh, both in the prophet's chamber inside and outside of it but we also have a something that cultist wants from us let's talk with this one he wants to be a blessed because he needs to be a blessed if people uh, our cultist won't be tend to their needs were increased so the thing that i was speaking about yeah so when this reaches 100 percent they will issue a demand for our profit to keep uh, the needs low you need to keep the faith high yeah okay so as we are going full about madness each of those choices you can see not only increase the power of a specific god but also lowers the need lowers the notoriety or increase the faith let's go with the madness as you can see now our faith just increased and what about the god's power ascension let's go to the altar that we just renovated we can click here or we can click here on this we have three panels here that for the demo we have only one unlocked and those are like your information about the cult here we can see the three bars specific for the uh, each god and as you can see we have 31 percent of madness right now that's giving a lot of bonuses to us uh, we had this point in uh, um, while playing in combat as you can see uh, that we uh, used to lower the abilities cost yeah so we got it from here yeah as you can see we also have a divine craft and what are the divine craft i know there is a lot of information but divine crafts are renovation there's a specific renovation that allows for cool stuff yes and here for example if you go to the chambers it allows us to get a better blessings for a specific god but for the black market is the thing that you we will not able to do at the beginning as you remember you can get one of the cool passive bonuses yeah okay let's make a fast of a different room uh, or no let's make a fast tail let's make a fast tail and then we will get back here first of all the book wants something from us book shows that there is something in the city that we may want to check out <laughs> yes so uh, let's try it out because we just unlocked the city with the altar so we can go physically to the city through here or through here old town home of the undesired the lowly the shunned a sigil for every soul banished to old town a permanent reminder that their gods have forsaken them girl do not despair you are not unwanted they call to you listen hear them the arrogance of the living gods will be their undoing. I will awaken Old Town and bring salvation to all those abandoned within. A prophet. And now we can see physically the city, yeah? city of Arantor. We are on the Old Town, so the living gods' followers are on the top door, are like the pestilence of the city the shunned smugglers the everything that is the worst and you can go to the specific districts and physically get awakened awakened are like a people that 
hear their whispers, but they don't understand it just yet. And they will passively generate whispers for us that we will be using soonish. They are in the different districts. There are four parts of this district, let's call it. And also, each has a lore text. So if you forgot, <laughs> but also gives you some of a context, yeah? We have an event here that Isabella is opening the black market and we can pay her with gold. We have some gold or use the whispers to demonstrate the power. And if we do it, bam, she just opens a black market for us. Another way to get to resources besides the tails and trading. Yeah, uh, She's offering items. But also notoriety. Notoriety is the thing that we were talking about previously, is that everything that you're doing in the game increase your notoriety. So the followers of the living gods doesn't like you and they will know about you, they will send a party to attack you that you will need to defend from. Her offers can be different depending on the day because it's an official free day, but if you can use one of the new resources that we have, secret new, <laughs> You can also re-roll the offers, yeah? And get a better one. As you can see, this one is not the best. Uh, this one is also not the best. And this one is also not the best. <laughs> we don't have much gold today, so let's get back. We got some awaken, And let's go to the city this time. So the city tale. Your gods we just got an axe, so let's get it to use. It. Okay. Uh, we have a life steal, protection per attack received, critical chance, and damage per attack received. Okay, let's go with a uh, different one, this one. And in the dungeons we will able to go where we want, but as you can see it's a bit different here. You have paths, you have the end goal, and also danger zone when you can be attacked. I see this lovely cultist that is waiting for us. We just got a free cultist. And the blessing. Those are the rare blessings, so they are way stronger than the common, but they can have contradicting stuff. For example, this one makes that the gift can be activated for the double duration, but the cost is double. It's increasing, sorry. This damage is increased by critical, but the health is getting down, yeah? Or this one is just special replenishment. Let's go with the gifts. We are all about the madness with this build. Let's gather some gold. And let's avoid this guy, we don't need it. As you can see, we can also change path using right click. We sadly still need to go through it, so let's try. The wild dog just attacked us. One other renovation that we just made is allowing us to use the aspects of the god rolling. As we have all about the madness here, as you can see. So this chance is increased. Of course, there are blessings, items and other stuff that can increase it, but let's try it. Sadly failed, so the we just got to some small gifts cost increase. <laughs> Okay, happens. Let's try with the dog. The dog is quite strong because uh, he can have a high critical chance, but also can uh, increase its counter. Counter is the damage that you receive when you attack someone. Okay, we have also Dominate. Uh, low, it increases the enemy status effects, which is very cool and also lowers gifts cost for the next turn. Let's use it and let's go with the heavy strike so we'll be attacking with bleed. We are on the fast speed, so everything will be a bit faster. As you can see, the animation change, uh, because Prophet is looking different, has a different weapon. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try with more actions, and we apply more bleed to him. As you can see, the bleed is dealing damage. Damn it, he evaded so much. Animals are having a very good evasion. Okay, let's try with lowering his sanity. So, yeah, the blog won't be evading so much, and with each attack, he's getting his health down right now because of the bleed. But we also have a bleed because just bite us. That my blood? But we won. We won. That's just important. Important with the combat in our game. About, uh, by the way, there were no rewards because it was a danger zone. And now we have a refugee. A glimpse. Nice. A we just won uh, the aspect roll, and also, as you can see, the frame changed. There are many. UI stuff, mouse cursor, loading screens that will be changing based on the highest god in the game and also how you go with it in the lore. Okay, let's try. We need to meditate and then let's try with a heavy strike again. Yes. This nasty guy is very survivable. Means that lower health we have, he will get a lot of block 
so this extra health. So let's try to get his sanity down as fast as possible. And yeah. Damn it. He's a vein. Ah, he just critical on us. Okay, he's strong. We are not the best right now. We are very low level. Okay, as you can see, he just received a lot of block. And yeah. Let's try and more stuff. Hmm? Later on, as you renovate your chambers, you can get additional gift that is always random. So you can even get those very late game one if you are lucky. And also goes with the actions. You can see this is a desire action that would be we would be having if we had a proper renovation. And that will be increasing a lot of our block, which is cool. On this one, oh, open the eyes it's from madness. Sanity per attack will be just replenishing all the time. Of course, damage and protection lowered, but it would be worth it, really. Okay, let's try again. Okay, we got him. Quite lucky. <laughs> it's turbulent. It's uh, night. Okay, profit is not cool. <laughs> let's get some gold and let's try to get out. Uh, sadly it's failed. Okay, we have a doggo again. Mm, let's try to lower the doggo. Uh, <laughs> let's go this one. We can also have an auto attack because the idea of the game is that more uh, strong enemies will require you to, to change tactics, adjust to the situation that we have. But the lower enemies, you can just auto play. Yeah, If you have a good set of actions and things like that, then use it. We are not against it, we like this idea, uh, min-maxing the game. Important idea overall with our game is that we don't want you to win, we want to, to survive the tail. So idea is you should get as low attrition damage, getting hit and so on, as possible, yeah? Okay, we have a very low sanity right now, but I think we will handle, we don't handle, oh, we didn't handle it. <laughs> Damn dog! Okay, let's try it. One more time. We'll do it. Nice. Okay. Oh, 37 critical. Nice. Because of the sanity damage no. also. I know Prophet. I know Prophet. Let's get back to the Sanctum. Okay, we got a new cultist. We got some Awakened, so those that will be getting whispers for us. And I will show you what the whispers are do for. Hear the whispers? Oh, we got a new letter. Intimate. Ooh, Prophet, the new follower that we just got was followed. Okay, we can kill the tail that uses the whispers. Mm, we can bribe them so the notoriety will go down for some gold, or we can increase the madness. Let's bribe them, because having low notoriety is always a good idea. Okay, but let's go right now and unlock more rooms that have more mechanics and things like that. We have a reliquary. Gather in this holy place. And a reliquary just unlocked at the bottom is some some cleaning was done. And we have the sacrifices. The sacrifices are instant effects that you can use by using whispers. <laughs> so we can do the fist that will increase our faith. We can then find cultists through our power, we can generate more gold per cultist, we can tr start human sacrifices, so lower our notoriety, we can increase the aspect chance, so this role that we had for the tails, we can increase the profit experience based on a god, so if we have a specific uh, amount of god's power, we can make a specific god blessings, and so on and so on. Let's do the a fist right now. Nice apple there, because I hope that we can level up the prophet to the point. <sighs> no, sadly we are good. still missing some experience, uh, but I know what we can do. Let's go to the black market, and we can now exchange some resources. As you can see, and a nice visible thing in terms of resources. Oh, we have a cultist here. Uh, our faith is quite high, but the needs, yeah, the needs needs to be lowered. We, can, we just blessed him by the desire. Let's go to the workshop and unlock the last Logins room. The last room is audience. the room of the callings. So here we have a map of the city showing influence over each specific god, the dead gods and the living gods. And we have the mission. We can now devote one of our free cultists to one of the gods. We are going madness, so let's go full madness. This nice lady just embraced madness. And we can send her. 
on a mission to gather a lot of gold. Our cultists have statistics, uh, attributes, and those are based on the god that you dedicate them. And later on, with the renovation, you can get a specialization and a lot of things. Overall, game has a lot of mechanics, so my advice always is take it slowly. We can have different tactics, again, based on a god, and so I wait with on. Anticipation and expectation. Yes, okay. And we'll see on the next day if she succeeds. But uh, the last thing that I want to show in this gameplay footage, let's go to the si back to the city. Because as you remember, we had a notification here. A relic of Old Town's lost glory. I wonder if this decrepit eyesore once guided my ancestors to port before the War of Faith. <sighs> its time has come. The whispers grow louder with anticipation. <laughs> so, uh, the game is not only about combat, not only about the cult management, but the story. And the story is uh, like a, a graphical novel, as you can see, some things just get colored, and when you hover there, they get bigger. Okay, let's the try this one. Certainly kill these urchins. That's not good. And Old Town will no doubt mourn their tragic demise. <laughs> Despair is madness's most twisted appendage we we know what god is going to be happy if if it happens so uh, let's try with the saving kids saving the children could prove useful. we can save them or Who do not interfere children of serving the will of god's long dead you know what let's save the children for this gameplay children come here quickly now well done you see obey me and you will be safe. The web does not usually favor little ones like you. Rejoice! The whispers were your salvation. Open your minds, listen, and you will be loved. Yes, that's it, children. The web welcomes I don't you. know if it's good to inter interrogate children. <laughs> Just like that. And... We can now go to our chambers and see that we have a new follower. The little sparrows uh, now increase experience gain of our profit during the tales. So yes, thank you everyone for watching. This is more or less what you can expect from Whispers of the Eyeless demo right now. So this is like a small percentage of the whole content of the game. I even didn't spoke about the main quest, the inside that everything that you're doing unlocks those giant quests giant story bits that you can go with that you can uh, send your cultists to prayers later on Our uh, and tell them to go the gods. and pray for the gods and the specific stuff you can now send the espionage missions you can start uh, exchanging different resources manipulate the market and a lot of other crafting items and as i said a lot of other things so yeah uh, the demo is available for the Steam uh, next next October 2024 on Steam, so have fun and I hope you will have it. And always remember, hear the whispers, you will be listened to and obey the gods. I was Michał Czeczko, Venris, lead, lead game director of Whispers of the Allies, and thank you for watching. Bye!